Hey guys, it's Teo Natty. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome back. I have a little bit of a different setup. Cute little plants. Now the next thing that I need to do is get a mic stand so that I can get back to the really good quality audio. But thank you guys for bearing with me in the meantime. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I wanted to talk to you guys about confidence. And that's um... That's pretty big coming from me because I have like the lowest confidence, the lowest self-esteem of all time. <laughs> And before I dive deep into my issues, I want to quickly tell you guys about the first time that I realized that I had no confidence. And this was back when I worked at a call center, not Lululemon. It was my very first call center job and I was applying for a position that was, uh, yeah, it was a team leader position. Anyway, I was not ready for it, but I thought that I was ready for it. So I applied. I was called back for an interview. I prepared and I went in and I completely bombed. And the feedback that I got from the people who are interviewing me, my superiors, was that I had have the skill and they know I have the skill because they've seen me work but I don't have the confidence to be a team leader yet and I was like okay it really bummed me out for a while I was I was pretty angry about it at the time I remember but looking back they were hella right and there was no bad blood there or anything it was just I applied for a position I didn't get it and then the company kind of went under as I don't know maybe I am just cursed to work for companies that go under I worked for Target and went under okay maybe let's not share that online uh I am not cursed <laughs> for legal purposes that was 100% a joke anyway fast forward to present day and I have once again been confronted with my confidence or lack of I'm back in school now and I've been having to do a couple of different things that involve speaking in front of a large group of people. Um, even though I don't always have to speak in front of the people, I've been having to record myself and then upload that for my professor to see. But anyway, the first time that I had to do one of those presentations, it was in front of the class. And uh, again, I walked in like super confident and I was caught super off guard when I started shaking in the middle of doing my little speech spiel thing, whatever the f I was doing. And I can I noticed that I was visibly shaking and my partner who was also like super confident, he was also shaking and it just it caught us both off guard and um, I guess that would have been yeah my most recent wake-up call with confidence and you know aside from that I've also been kind of changing the way that I present myself online I showed you guys my short bald head and then I let my hair grow out a bit but then I decided to wear wigs again and then I took a break and I came back with no hair again and it's just like basically what I decided to do before taking my break before starting school and you know being bombarded with a bunch of assignments and stuff I decided to do really really um, full coverage makeup and wear wigs and you know I was like the first time that I did a full face like really heavy coverage makeup I was like wow I can actually look like the people that I'm seeing online like it's not just you know maybe I'm maybe I'm insecure for no reason because if I just put on like a full face of makeup and contour and make sure that my eye bags are never visible like I can achieve the same look and so I kind of did that I think for the last few videos that I posted and the wigs definitely helped with that image and then all of a sudden I had to go back to school and I'm not I don't really wear makeup when I go to class like especially when my class is over zoom I'm not gonna put makeup on I think I did in the first few classes okay but not uh yeah now the most it'll be is like mascara and maybe a little bit of blush so that I don't look absolutely dead but yeah I also started filming a lot more TikToks and even though I'm recording them on an Android which is already kind of like fucking blurry so it helps not see so it helps so it doesn't show all of the imperfections but anyway I noticed that when I try to do like a full coverage makeup and then I would see my face uh, close up in the camera even though I had full coverage makeup it was easier for me now to like 
pick out the imperfections and if I just go bare face I literally don't even think about any of those things I'm I focus more on like was the joke that I made in that TikTok funny or like whatever the f I was doing I haven't even recorded one TikTok I don't think with my talking voice yet um because I usually record to really out-of-pocket sounds that I find on there. Anyway, so going back to confidence now, of course my outer appearance, it impacts my confidence a lot, but the funniest thing is when I had longer hair, like literally when my hair was the longest that it's been after high school, and I was also a bit more fit because I worked pretty, yeah, I, worked, I was working that warehouse job, which you guys know was not good for me, but in terms of my body, like I looked really fit. Even though my hair was super long and I was fit, I was not confident back then either. So I guess that's the number one lesson that I've learned in my 27 years here is that confidence can never fully be achieved by your external appearance. Like you might think to yourself, if I looked a certain way that is different from how you look, for me, let's say for a while, I did think, okay, I'm gonna save money and get braces and when my teeth are nice and aligned I will feel so much more confident or like you know right now my hair is short as well I could say man when my hair grows I'll be so much more confident but like I'm not a hundred percent I'm not a hundred percent sure that that will be the case who knows maybe something else will change in my life and yeah I'll get braces and fix my teeth and my hair will be long but maybe I will still not be confident so so instead of thinking that way I just try to be confident in the moment and in the present and yes my appearance is related to my confidence but Confidence is not only that. Confidence also comes from within, from the way that you think about yourself. Like, if you think to yourself all the time, like, I'm so trash, I'm so garbage, I could never pull this off, I could never do this, I could never do that. Well, guess what? You're probably not going to do that because you're not even willing to try. So, I've just accepted that right now, I'm in my era of trying. I know I do not have a big audience, I'm, a, I'm not an influencer by any means or anything like that, but I'm going to go ahead and post like I am one, I'm going to make videos like I am one. We all gotta start somewhere and if I'm not confident enough to even try to do this, I'm not going to end up anywhere. Anyway, sorry, this video isn't really planned but I do have a couple of things that I wrote down here. So, okay, we talked about the outer confidence as I like to call it because I'm a genius. My face, I'm getting older, okay, I'm gonna start getting wrinkles and shit but whatever it doesn't matter my teeth i've learned to just embrace them like i can't do f all about them right now so in terms of my body shape right now i'm like could be better but like what can i do i don't really have time to work out so and then there's the inner confidence as i called it once again a genius town addy the inner confidence for me that means how confident i am in the pursuit of my dreams you know i have dreams and goals that i want to accomplish i don't want to sit here and cry like oh it's so hard to make it on social media these days it's not hard i just know that i need to put in like a lot of work but anyway how confident am i that i will make it that i will accomplish my goals one day Day. even if I can't work at the pace that I want to because of other things in my life like school or my pets or you know just life in general I am still confident that I am going to somehow someday make it like as long as I'm here as long as I'm alive I'm gonna be a social media star baby I also have I just noticed my my forehead is getting a little bit uh, dewy we call that natural highlighter but yeah I also have BBD in the back which is trying to sabotage me every single day of my life and tries to tear my confidence apart and you know also instead of looking at that aspect of BPD as like a villain I've started just almost trying to prove it wrong like let's say that there's like a little BPD bird and she's like hey you suck why did you cut your hair there's no way anyone will find you pretty right now you have no hair I just say oh yeah I'm just gonna put my best self forward. I have no idea. I'm I, at the end of the day. I'm I'm gonna have no idea if 
I have no idea. I'm I, at the end of the day I'm, I'm gonna have no idea if anyone will find you pretty right now you have no hair and trust me no one's ran away once seeing my bald head my professor did say though I'm not even gonna ask about the hair I'm not gonna ask about it and I was like please don't but yeah the BPD sabotage bird is just like I guess the best way to put it is it maybe we all have this maybe it's just maybe it's just the low self-esteem bird low self com no low self-confidence birdie that's just like telling us that we are a certain way we look a certain way we behave a certain way we come off a certain way and that puts so much pressure on us like we always think back like oh that did I say that okay? Did I do that okay? Like, did I look okay in that particular situation? Whereas in reality, you are totally fine. Like in nine out of ten cases, sure there might be a little slip up. Oh, you had a little piece of some some in your teeth, like, or maybe you said something in a way that did not make sense in the English grammar and vocabulary. Okay, maybe it's only eight out of ten times that you're okay. But you know what? Even those other two times that you slipped up, I guarantee you, it's not as bad as you thought. Anyway, I'm kind of just going off on weird tangents here. Um, this video applies to anyone who has struggled with confidence issues, whether you have BPD or not, it doesn't matter. I think everyone to some level they struggle with this. And my personal resolve is that I'm, I'm so done with trying to fit myself within this narrow box of what I think perfection is. Like, I'm so done with trying to seek that. I'm still wearing makeup and I put on a cute fit. Actually, let me show you the fit. It's actually really cute. I can't really get that out of the way. I found this at a thrift store. Oh, big booty. Shoot. Anyway, super cute. Yeah, this is not the best way for shooting. Okay, hang on. Chair. Chair. Oh. Okay, so what I was saying earlier is that I don't want to fit myself in this narrow box of perfection because honestly that's that's so unhealthy to me like it does so much detriment to my mental health and there's just way too many things that are damaging my mental health right now that i'm like okay the one that i can actually kind of control is the confidence aspect both outer confidence and inner confidence so my mantra for 2022 is well and beyond okay because i think this is really good instead of seeking perfection i am going to seek expression that was really bad that's really corny holy f that looked a lot better on paper anyway i'm just going to wear the type of clothes that i feel like express my personality i've been feeling a lot recently like oh i don't have interesting clothes like i look so plain and basic and honestly most of the time i just wear sweatpants and oversized t-shirts with like oil stains on it because i deep fry while wearing those chickens while wearing those t-shirts and uh yeah i just look like that on a daily basis but when i film videos i want to make a lot more content i'm dedicating time each day to making content in some way shape or form when i do that i'm gonna be busting out some cute outfits that i think represent me and i'm no longer worried like oh it's not just one aesthetic you have like so many different types of clothes i don't care it's my wardrobe i don't have money to go on and get new clothes except for this thrifted that's very cheap okay if you go to the thrift store anyway super cute yeah this was 3.99 Anyway, and yeah, instead of worrying about things like, oh sh I have no hair again and I have to go through the entire growth process and it's it's literally it's starting to get to that really awkward point like it actually doesn't look that bad on this video. Close up you can see like it just looks very fuzzy. I look like a hedgehog, but I'm kind of tired of trying to put on wigs and make them stay and style them in ways that are interesting because I don't like being bland, I don't like wearing, even though I can have like a rotation of wigs, I still don't like wearing the same type of hairstyle and yet here I am wearing just a bald hedgehog head. I also don't like alternating between looking bald and wearing wigs. Maybe I will maybe I will get more comfortable with that as we go along, but for now I think in order to really combat that confidence part that's affecting my mental health, I just have to be comfortable with this and with this and in terms of makeup, I'm just going to I'm not going to try to do anything crazy because 
so many times I end up trying to do like a new age style of makeup or something and I really don't like how it looks on my face and I end up irritating my face because I'm trying to like fix the makeup and then put more makeup on it and then it just becomes a cakey mess so you know I'm kind of done with that and I'm kind of done with having mental breakdowns when that happens so instead I'm just gonna go old school tail natty wait wake up yeah uh tail natty makeup that kind of makeup that i've been wearing you know since i started wearing the makeups so yeah it's march 2022 and if you feel like you are ready to go on a confidence journey on a self-confidence journey if you feel like you are ready to just say goodbye to any old frameworks that you have in your head about the way that you look at yourself and the way that you think about yourself then i do suggest that you follow me along on my quest because uh yeah it's gonna be very exciting i i'm gonna be growing out my hair we're gonna get to see how it looks at different stages the first beginner stages are going to be very awkward so i'm going to have to find other ways to express myself other than my hair and um Ultimately, by the end of this year, I want to be the most confident that I've ever been. I know that only by putting in the work and accomplishing the goals that I want to accomplish by the end of the year, I, I know that that will play a huge part in my confidence. But still, as I record that content, as I put myself out there for you guys, the less time that I dedicate to trying to look perfect or like beating myself up because I wanted to look a certain way and I don't look that certain way the more time that i put into that the less time that i have into making content for you guys you know you know what i'm saying anyway embrace your inner baddie express yourself love yourself no matter what parts of yourself you have hated in the past start loving them <laughs> no 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 <laughs> it's not easy but it's possible and i am like i said i have almost no self-confidence as a person this is me trying to trying to have some <laughs> and if i can do it then so can you and that's what i want to show the world i guess that anyone can do it you just have to you just have to try Okay guys, I've been rambling for a long time, but thank you for listening to what I have to say. Let me know how you feel about all of these things that I've talked about. I have no idea what I talked about. I guess I'm gonna see when I edit the video, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments, anything else that you'd like to hear from me. If you want me to talk about whatever you want me to talk about, let me know. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Please take care of yourself and I will see you next. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I should start saying that at the end of my videos yeah don't forget to like and subscribe oh shit. here we go again okay bye guys